The Eagle FCO, which stands for Fire Control Electro-Optical, is a fire control and surveillance system used in the Royal Navy and in 12 international navies. It basically provides the eyes of the ship for objects which may be hostile, may be friendly. It contains a tracking system which enables the crew to track those objects, identify them with a TV camera, thermal imager and a laser range finder which gives the range of the targets. So it's delivering a constant view of the surroundings of the ship for situational awareness and ship's protection. The system has been used by, is in use by the Royal Navy and 12 international navies. It's been used in theatre, combat situations against surface targets on the sea and aerial targets, drones and helicopters. It's proved reliable, it delivers that situational awareness to the crew of the ship. Uh, we've undergone various product enhancements over the years, so we're building in the latest technology, new digital uh, HD camera systems, advanced signal processing, so we are giving the crew the ability to have artificial intelligence, which is looking at the scene, picking out possibly uh, hostile targets without a crew member having to sit in front of a screen for a long period of time. The system has been used in conflict scenarios. Obviously there are certain classifications and sensitivities around what we can say. It's been used against surface targets and latterly, as everyone will see in the media, there's an increasing threat from aerial targets. They could be drones, they could be missiles, helicopters. So it gives the crew the ability to distinguish what could be a threat target from normal traffic. Uh, the Red Sea, other areas of the world are very complex, busy environments. We have advanced software which provides the crew with the ability to uh, watch a console, be alarmed when a threat enters their uh, situational zone and that software will detect whether that is a, a drone, uh, could be a fishing ship, uh, a, a ves pleasure vessel, a yacht and allow those innocent targets to be distinguished from the hostile ones. We have a lot of the core technology of our systems in-house. We spend a lot of uh, PV money investing in advanced technologies, so we are utilising the latest camera systems, the latest laser rangefinders, um, and we have a very uh, detailed uh, development plan for the software for the system, which can be incrementally uh, spun out to systems in the field. That enables the latest advances in AI tracking systems, our DEFT system, deep embedded feature tracking, to be rolled out. That's giving increasingly powerful capability for distinguishing those hostile targets from general background objects that may be in the scene.